When coalition missiles were fired on Syria, and when suicide bombers disguised as UN peacekeepers attacked the Blue Helmets in Mali, a crisis center buried within the heart of the UN headquarters building here in New York was sounding the alarm. It's a global reach. We monitor and report on countries where there's a peacekeeping operation or where there's a special political mission uh, or where there's just there's no mission but there is a UN humanitarian and development presence. Here at the UN Operations and Crisis Center, there's a beehive of activity behind me. The UN officials here are monitoring crises and situations around the world and then in many cases putting out alerts to senior UN managers and operations in the field so they can respond better. We also issue alerts. Um, this is on breaking events uh, in those particular areas. It could be about a political event, it could be a security event, or it could even be about a natural disaster. One of the most recent crises was when the U.S., United Kingdom and France attacked Syria. When the missile strike started, uh, our first job was to uh, clearly issue an alert on that. Uh, you could imagine some of the things that the UN senior management uh, would be concerned about would be the, the safety and security of UN staff. Uh, were any civilians killed uh, in these strikes? And indeed, where did these strikes take place? There are also dangerous situations like the one in Mali where UN peacekeepers and personnel were under attack. That complex attack involved both the use of rockets as well as suicide vehicle bombs as well as attackers. Um, so again, the first job of the center was to alert the senior management that that attack was taking place. Within the crisis center, there are desk officers like Verona Lambert, who is responsible for monitoring conflict in South Sudan. Uh, for instance, last night, uh, yesterday, there were a lot of um, uh, clashes in, uh, in Jongle as well as United States of South Sudan. So incidents like that. And for Pap Tala, who monitors crisis in the Middle East region, the job can be emotionally difficult. The images that you see, um, not just out there, but also what we receive from our missions, are not just very sad, but also very graphic sometimes <laughs> as well. And so dealing with this for 12 hours straight does build up some sort of sadness and anger. Keeping an eye on the outbreaks of violence, natural disasters, and man-made humanitarian crisis isn't easy. But it is key to stabilizing those situations, and in many cases, keeping them from spiraling out of control. Frank Uciardo, TRT World, the United Nations.